Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Today's video is a new adventure for me. It's the first time I'm sewing something vintage inspired for one of my children. In this case, it's my as yet unborn baby. I'm going to be creating um, some infant chemises. And this is the pattern I'm using. It's a free pattern which I found online and I will link it in the description. And there's some beautiful photos of of these chemises on actual babies and I really like the idea of it because I'm not a big fan of modern fabrics especially stretchy fabrics and when it comes to my newborn baby I just really want to put something on them that I feel really good about and that's clean and pure and so I bought this organic linen and I just love linen I think it's a really nice fabric to wear next to the skin and it's already been washed that's why it's all wrinkly and I'm going to be making maybe five um, size small infant chemises. So join me for this journey, guys. And hopefully by the end, I might have some footage for you of my baby wearing them. Okay, stick around. Okay, so here is my pattern and I'm just tracing over the size that I want. I went with the size small, which was the second to smallest size, but I did make it longer. I made, I used the length of the, the largest size. And just folded the paper in half and traced out the other half of the pattern so I wouldn't have to cut on fold. And now I'm just cutting out the pattern. Okay, and here's my fabric. And so I'm just laying it out. And I'm gonna be cutting out my pieces now. Okay, so there's all my cutout fabric pieces now. So there's 10 of them because there's two per chemise. Okay, so the first step of course is pinning each pair of panels together along the side seams and along the shoulder seams. There was a 1.5 centimeter seam allowance for this project and I planned on sewing it with flat felled seams. And as you can see, the sleeves are cut in one with the body. So I'm just pinning the seams with the full 1.5 centimeter allowance and later I will be felling them. And here we go, sewing them together. So here's one of the side seams. You can see that it curves nicely there to encompass the bottom of the sleeve as well. And here's one of the shoulder seams. And that's what they looked like when that first pass was sewn. And so for flat felled seams, of course, you have to go in and trim down one of the pieces of raw fabric very narrowly and then the other piece will be folded over and I did trim a little bit in this curved area just to make it easier to fell a curved seam and so I went in and just finger pressed that piece over and then I did iron it after this before going to the sewing machine so now I'm just sewing that down in the flat way. This was very tricky sewing that underarm slash side seam 
because it's so small of a garment so you have to be really careful not to sew any creases into that underarm area but if you if you go slowly it's definitely doable And of course, the uh, shoulder seam was a little tricky too because you have to push all the other fabric out of the way so you're only sewing that top part at, at a time. And now I'm just sewing a rolled hem in the bottom of the chemise as well as the sleeves. Okay, so now I'm just marking the depth of the center front slash opening and cutting down. And I'm just sewing a stay stitch along that edge. And now I am folding over those raw edges in a rolled hem type of way and then hand stitching it down. You could probably get away with doing this by machine, but it was a pretty small area to be negotiating, so I felt more comfortable sewing it by hand. Especially when you get down to the corner of the slash opening, it was much trickier, so it was much easier to do it by hand. Okay, and that's what my first one looked like. You can see there's a lot of creasing going on, but my second one I did get a little better at sewing it without creasing. And of course you could always just face this with bias tape as well, but I preferred to keep it simple. And now I'm just marking the amount of gathering stitches I will need to add to the top there. There were gathering stitches at the center front as well as the center back. And first I'm just machine stitching that down to hold the gathers in place before going in for the first pass of the bias tape all along the top. Okay, now I'm going in for the second pass of the bias tape, folding it around to the right side now. And I just did this by machine because I wanted it to be as quick as possible since I was sewing five of these chemises. And there are two of them done now, except for the button and the buttonhole. Okay, and here are my five chemises all finished and ready to have their buttons added. So the buttonhole was made just in that bias tape edging, which wasn't a very good amount of space for making a buttonhole, so maybe in the future if I were to make this again I would use wider bias tape edging. And so there's the buttonhole all finished, and now I'm just sewing on the button on the opposite side. And that's what it looks like when it's finished. Hi everybody, I'm back and it's a few months later and I have my little baby here wearing his chemise. His name is Edward. 
I really love these. Now Edward is almost eight weeks old and he has been wearing these almost exclusively since he was born. And it's super comfortable. It's easy to wash and yeah, I can't, I can't really say anymore. It's just really awesome baby garment and it's nice. I have five of them, so they're always in rotation. And I use them the same way I would use a onesie. I just use it as an undershirt. So if he's at home, he's usually just wearing this. But when we're going out and I want to put a nice collared shirt on him or something, I just put it over top of this. And this is his undershirt. And, oh, another thing I want to note about this style of shirt and why I prefer it to a onesie is that I actually practice elimination communication with baby Edward. I have with couple of my kids and elimination communication if you don't know is a practice where you offer your baby opportunities to use the potty rather than just always going in their diaper and so he's learned to associate sitting on the potty with going to the bathroom and I also make different cue noises for him so it just saves me cloth diaper laundry and it helps you know, give him the opportunity to just stay more dry and more comfortable. So this chemise is really handy for that because onesies, of course, they snap underneath. And so it's just one more step to have to unsnap that and take off the diaper. And it's kind of in the way all the time if it's hanging down. So this is really handy for that. Okay, guys, if you enjoyed this video of making infant chemises, give it a like. Leave your comments or questions below and subscribe to my channel for more sewing videos. I like to do a lot of historical type sewing. Thanks for watching guys, bye.